Hey everyone, Ben here. Breaking news, the former largest shareholder of Tesla, Bailey Gifford, has sold 50% of its Tesla stock. This is way more than portfolio rebalancing and has shocked millions. So in this video, I'm gonna dive into the headlines and exactly what this means for you should you trim your Tesla position as Tesla finally ran too high. We're gonna discuss that in this video. Secondly, I'm gonna dive into SpaceX. They've recently had another private valuation and the Starlink IPO. And then third and finally, I'm gonna give you guys the exact date when ARK Invest Space ETF is going public because I strongly believe ARK Space Exploration ETF will include the company Space Exploration, SpaceX. So if you're interested in that information, be sure to watch this video to the end and I think you'll like what I've got for you. So before we dive right in, if you're new around here, feel free to join the investing family by hitting that subscribe button and turning that notification bell on. If you do find any value in these early updates like this, feel free to give this video a big thumbs up that helps out tremendously with the YouTube AI. If you want to know exactly which stocks I'm buying, which stocks I'm selling, and access my entire portfolio, and join a fantastic and thriving community of some of the finest people on the internet, then feel free to check out that first link in the description below for the VIP membership group. And with that being said, let's dive in. So first I thought I'd start off with Tesla's share price. Um, let's just take a look at this. And um, we know it's been crazy. We know it's been a crazy bull run. Full disclosure, I do own shares in Tesla. It's not a massive position for me, but I do have shares in Tesla. Tesla's been on a monster bull run up 1,000% in just one year. So congratulations to those people who invested in back in 2017, 2018, 2019. Tesla's market cap is currently $766 billion. Now, I believe that's more than Facebook right now. So this Scottish Mortgage Investment Trust has halved their Tesla and kept a huge gain. So they've cashed out a lot of profits on Tesla. Do they believe Tesla has run up too much? Is this finally the limit for Tesla? Well, we're going to find out. We're going to dive into their funds and exactly what positions they've cut and what they've sold off. Bailey Gifford is a UK fund manager, and this was Tesla's largest external investor. Now, I did a video about Bailey Gifford a while back. Bailey Gifford is basically like the UK version of ARK Invest, but if anything, they were ahead of the curve above ARK Invest. Now, at one point, Bailey Gifford held a 7.7 .7 stake in Tesla. And in December, Tesla was in the top 10 holdings of the firm's 12 funds and trusts. And these positions have now been cut in all but one fund in January. Now, this is more than simple portfolio rebalancing, which I've discussed previously. So the flagship fund, Scottish Mortgage Investment Trust, which I am a shareholder in also, cut its Tesla holding from 8.4% of the 19.4 billion investment trusts at the end of December to 5.1% a month later. And if we dive into the full breakdown of the funds here, Bailey Gifford American Fund, Tesla made up 8.4% of the fund in December 2020. By the end of January 2021, this was slashed to 5.1%. The second fund, Bailey Gifford Global Alpha Growth Fund, this was 2.6, and they sold out the entire position so the weighting is undisclosed at this current time. So it seems like they sold out the entire position in that fund. Their third fund, Global Discovery Fund, Tesla made up 6.3%. This was slashed to 4.8%. Um, Scottish Mortgage Investment Trust, which is the one I discussed, the main flagship fund for Bailey Gifford, they have slashed theirs from 8.9%, their position in Tesla, to 5.1%. Now, the reason this is different than portfolio rebalancing is with portfolio rebalancing, you set an allocation for a stock. You say, okay, I only want Tesla to make up 8% or 9% or 10% of my portfolio. For example, ARK Invest has this. They have around 10% of their ETS in Tesla. And then when Tesla's share price grows too high, they trim the position by selling some stock so it still stays at approximately the 10% mark. But this is different. What they've done in this fund now is change the allocations entirely. So they've not just sold it to the 9% mark, which seems to be the baseline for Bailey Gifford. They've reduced it to 5%. So to me, that says... They see a lot more risk in Tesla stock now. They see less upside and more downside at the moment. Now, I did highlight this in the video. Despite being a Tesla shareholder, I look at this completely objectively. Please, guys, don't get offended. I know there's a lot of people out there who think Tesla is a religion. And I do like Elon Musk. He's a great guy. But we need to look at these things factually. So I did a video on the exact intrinsic valuation of Tesla. I looked at various different scenarios, positive, negative, etc., and I give a intrinsic valuation of Tesla. 
And it seemed to me that Tesla could potentially double or triple, but it also has a massive downside risk. So if you want to find out more about that, I'll leave a link for that video in the description below. I highly recommend you guys watch this video after this video if you want to find out more about Tesla's current value. I know it's always been said that Tesla's overvalued, but now we need to sort of look at it objectively. Tesla's approaching $1 trillion. They've just invested into a heap load of Bitcoin. There's a lot of things. There's a lot of potential catalysts which could affect Tesla stock. And I don't want to see you guys holding the bag if situations happen. So feel free to check out that video if you want to find out more. Okay, so now let's move on to headline number two. And that is with regards to the Starlink IPO and SpaceX. So Starlink, if for those who don't know, it's basically a satellite constellation which has started to be created by SpaceX in order for people to have high-speed internet even when they're in remote parts of the world. So very interesting company. Of course, Elon Musk is behind it. So it's got this Elon Musk effect. And, and if this company does go public soon, that stock will fly just off momentum. Even if the fundamentals of the business are not that great at the moment, it will still fly off major momentum. But there is a lot of positives with the business also. I did discuss it more deeply deeply in a previous video. Firstly, Elon Musk was asked about a SpaceX IPO and he basically said, we're probably going to IPO Starlink. However, he did say once the cash flow for Starlink has stabilized. So once it's got stable cash flows, it's not got very volatile up and down cash flows. Then Musk is seriously considering a Starlink IPO. So he also went on to say SpaceX needs to pass through a deep chasm of negative cash flow over the next year or so to make Starlink financially viable. Every new satellite constellation in history has gone bankrupt. We hope to be the first not to do so. And uh, Bill Gates even came out and said, never underestimate Elon Musk, even though there's talk that Bill Gates actually had a short position on Elon Musk. I don't know if it's true. It's a rumor at the moment. Charlie Munger, even the famous value investor, was asked about Elon Musk. He said he thinks Elon Musk is brilliant, and they asked him about Tesla investment. This was last year. And he said he wouldn't invest into Tesla because it doesn't fit his investment style but he never bet against Tesla. It's, and that's something which a lot of people got burned with the whole Tesla short situation last year. SpaceX, this was released February the 17th, so just yesterday. SpaceX raised $850 million at Elon Musk's favorite price of $420 per share. Which the $420 mark is what in 2018, Elon Musk had funding secured to take Tesla private, the Securities and Exchanges Commission alleged. So SpaceX took in $1.9 billion in August, putting its valuation at about $46 billion. So the company is gobbling up cash as it pursues its ambitious projects, such as its Starlink satellite internet service and Starship rockets. So the reusable rockets, which is definitely a competitive advantage for SpaceX. SpaceX currently has the lowest cost to actually put a satellite out into space repeatedly. I did a full analysis on SpaceX and how to invest into this company. I offered four ways to invest into SpaceX. Now you don't have to wait for the company to potentially go public. I'll leave a link for that video in the description below. Now, one of the ways to potentially invest into SpaceX I highlighted was to potentially invest into ARK Space ETF. Now, I went through a previous video outlining why I believe ARK Space ETF will hold some shares in Tesla SpaceX. To me, it just seems logical. Even look at the name of the fund. ARK's fund is called ARK Space Exploration ETF. And what's the full name for SpaceX? space exploration so it just seems pretty obvious to me they talk about reusable rockets they talk about going to mars we know there's only one man on this planet who's actually serious about going to mars and that is elon musk i think mars should really have great bars um the mars bar <laughs> So Arc Space ETF, like many of you guys have messaged me and asked, when is that ETF going live? And I've got some details here I think you guys will like. So diving in here, we're on the United States Securities and Exchanges Commission website. So this is the SEC filing, which Arc Space ETF did with the SEC. And as we can see here, this was released on January the 13th, 2021, when Kathy Wood first announced the Space ETF. And as it says here, it is proposed that this filing will become effective 75 days after the filing. Now, 75 days after January the 13th, 2021 is in fact Monday, the 29th of March. So this should really be in your calendar, guys. This should be like you've got Christmas, you've got birthdays, you've got your girlfriend's wives, partner's birthdays, you've got Easter and you've got this date that this space ETF is going to be released. 29th of March, 2021. Have that in your calendar. It may be delayed for people in Europe, potentially the UK. But if you're in the US or if you're in potentially Canada, I think you can definitely 
get into this space ETF early and even just the gains off the momentum in the early stages. This is not financial advice, by the way. I'm just sharing my thoughts. But even the gains off the early investment into this space ETF, you can get a percentage of SpaceX potentially then that could be major gains for you guys. So I'm just providing this information for you guys. Hopefully that helps. Information is power. And if information is generally free and available and all over the world, it's not that useful. But that's why I'm providing you this information, which did take a little bit more research. Now, if you guys want to find out my prediction for the full stocks, which are going to be an ARK Space ETF, then I've also done a full video on that. I'll leave a link for that in the description below. I highly recommend you check out that video. So really, instead of binge watching Netflix, I highly recommend just checking out the description, binge watching the four ways to invest into SpaceX video and binge watch the ARK Space ETF video. I highly recommend that. Each is about 10 minutes each and I think you'll learn a lot, especially if you're interested in Tesla, SpaceX, Elon Musk, and potential companies to invest into. So if you guys found some value in this video, feel free to give it a big thumbs up. That helps out tremendously with the YouTube AI. If you're new around here and you still don't subscribe, feel free to subscribe and hit that notification bell on to get early alerts when I'm uploading new content. Also, if you do want to know exactly which stocks I'm buying, which stocks I'm selling, and join a thriving community of some of the finest people on the internet, then feel free to check out that first link in the description below for the VIP membership group. Oh, and you also get to access my entire portfolio. And with that being said, I hope you guys have a tremendous day. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Invest safe.